Darren Hansen reporting there. Now, Paris might be the world's fashion capital, but some of the most famous faces on earth are dressed by a designer who lives in Perth. Natalie Bongiolo caught up with Melanie Greensmith and her rock star partner relaxing on the outskirts of the city. Glamorous, sexy, fun. She's the fashion designer with a cult following. He's rock and roll royalty. A-listers with attitude. Here in Perth, Melanie Greensmith and Mark McKenty are red carpet regulars. But it's on red carpets around the world that Melanie's made her name. Musicians, models, movie stars. Melanie Greensmith is outfitter to the rich and famous. Celebrities want to wear something that no one else has got and, you know, and of course they want to grab attention. Her clothes are worn in glossy magazines around the globe. Pamela Anderson, Daryl Hannah, Danny Minogue, even Hugh Hefner's playmates have all been snapped by the paparazzi wearing wheels and doll baby. Kelly Osborne, we did recently, just shot. Kate Moss for British Vogue. Cindy Lauper loves her. So does rocker Rod Stewart and his wife Penny. But this was her first fan. Partner Mark McKenty, the guitarist for 80s bad band Divinals. When I first started touring, I used to go into her shop to buy all my clothes to go on the road to tour with. You were her fan? Yeah, I was. When they're not jet setting, this is home, a rural retreat on the outskirts of Perth, relaxing rock and roll style. I'm famous for sort of wearing Chanel flats in my paddock. Even the Arabian horses and pampered pooches are fashionably chic. They look really posh because they've got Louis Vuitton collars, but then they've got Quinana Shire Council tags on them. When she's not doting on her dogs, she's designing her latest collection. This one is Hollywood glamour. I normally try them all on and I come out and I say, OK, what do you think of this one? So you have a fashion parade here he in gets, Paris, in the yeah. lounge room. We do. This is where the, the collections first come out. It's a long way from LA, where stars like Lily Allen and Debbie Harry strut the stage in Doll Baby, celebs who call Melanie a mate. One of my favourites is Deborah Harry been dressing Debbie for like a long time now and she's been a, a really great support. She's definitely my idol. It's not just celebrities besotted by Doll Baby. Adelaide student Melissa Gray wears the label literally. It's the logo on the brand label. It's the pinup girl. I just wanted people to know that I'm a Doll Baby. She has tattoos, posters, paraphernalia and more than $15,000 worth of wheels and Doll Baby in her wardrobe. It is an addiction. All the stores in Adelaide have me on speed dial for wheels and Doll Baby so whenever they get their collections in they'll call me straight away. Her stores are French Renaissance inspired. The latest to open right here in her hometown of Perth. A proud moment for both Melanie and Mark. I get a tremendous buzz for Melanie and, you know, I, I just think that she gets the credit that what she deserves. There's a little piece of Hollywood right here in Perth. This is the King Street fashion strip where our homegrown celebrity designers have their very own walk of fame. There's Liz Davenport, Bruce Tarvitas and the latest star to hit the street, Melanie Greensmith, a woman who doesn't usually let people walk all over her. I'll make a lip set from yeah, yeah, yeah. Her motto is clothes to snare a millionaire and they've been described as posh punk. But this is where her real inspiration comes from. Put the blame on main boy. All the women I aspire to, you know, like Jean Harlow and um, Rita Hayworth and Ava Gardner, um, you know, strong, smart, beautiful women. That brought on the Frisco Quakes. The name Wheels and Doll Baby is from another classic. Nice! <laughs> I never find the break. I didn't. I ran out of gas. Max and 99 were dressed as rockers in a, like, really 60s kind of beatnik uh, show, and they were called Wheels and Doll Baby, and I was just watching it and went, wow, well, that's, that's such a cool name. Since then, the who's who of the rock world fell in love with her bad girl glam. Bob Dylan, Jimmy Barnes, even Michael Jackson. Yeah. 
when I was a kid, I was about 19, and MTV had just started here. And they put it on MTV, and I think then other people came because of that. Now there's a whole new Rat Pack asking Melanie to make them outfits. Kelly Osborne, Katy Perry, and Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse stylist called me from England and just said, you know, Amy loves your things. And so I did a dress for her that she wore in one of the first videos. It's a real coup for the designer from Perth, who knows how to make a frock rock. Sometimes Wheels and Doll Baby becomes a little bit bigger than I am, you know what I mean? So, you know, it all sort of takes over and if I really sat and thought about it, it would probably freak me out a bit. Melanie hopes to open her next store in London in the near future.